Today in this video we're gonna review the Provo X2 Air. How are you doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Banks ENT. And what a wonderful day. For what? For review the Provo X2 Air. This video is going to be three parts. We're going to be doing the hardware, benchmark, and the software. And let me know how I can help you by leaving a comment right below the video. And make sure you become part of Media Bugs ENT by subscribing to the channel. And as disclaimer, we got this box from Provo X2 Air as a demo unit to make a full honest review. So check the video now. All right, so let's check the Buddha time. Bravo, X2 on the top, X96 in the bottom. On the right side, the T95X, and the bottom, the M MXQ Pro. Let's see how long this doesn't mean it's better good that you show you four boxes have been synchronized at the same time, all boot up at the same time. Let's see who is faster and is slower. Okay, so we got a 96 with 23 seconds. Now the uh, T95X, 31. 37 seconds, Bravo. NMSQ Pro, 43 seconds. All right, so in this part of the video, we're gonna talk about hardware. Now these are the original remote control. These two came with the box. We got the box right over here. They probably, we can see here, the SD card this is a micro SD. We got a USB connection here that right now I'm using this keyboard. We got an optical output, Archer 45, our HDMI USB. I'm using this extender that came part of the box. Okay, so this one we're not gonna use it because this is the standard uh, remote control that you need to point it. But it came with this one, this one and this one is a natural USB air mouse. So this is a hundred times better. So we're gonna leave this in the side. The band of this box, so remote control adapter. Okay, so I'm using this USB in the 5 volt power supply and the antenna. All right, once again, this is Android 6.0, two gigabyte of memory system, DDR3 and flash 16 gigabyte for all your applications. 2.4 and 5.9, I'm connected 5.9, Bluetooth 4.0. The cool thing, this one has a, what they call it, UR, UR launcher. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the UR launcher is. And remember, this is about media box ENT. All right, so let's do the first test. So we're going to test all this. Then the second test, I'm going to go over some of the applications. So the last test, we're going to be checking if the bot has a DR info, see if it runs Netflix. Okay, we're going to do some benchmark. We're going to compare between four boxes. We're going to compare the speed of the box. And we're going to run some benchmark. Okay, so it's pretty interesting. So let's go over some of the hardware. Okay, we're gonna now we're gonna go into the main screen of the Provo. And as you see here, I'm using a, a keyboard and no problem. Okay, I connect it with this. So if you guys want to put a regular keyboard, it works perfect. Let's just try the browser. Okay, works pretty good. All right, let's run a test. Test. And if I put an enter, this one is mapped right. Remember, a lot of the boxes, when you press here, it has a row mapping key, is the little Q. So every time you press enter, we have a problem with the Q. But well, this box, they take, care of, they take care of that problem. So when you type enter, it's actually enter. So that's a good job for that. And it seems to work pretty good, no problem. Okay, so this one works. The next step is, let's try a different keyboard. So I'm gonna swap this. And this one, okay. This is the original one, by the way. Okay, a lot of people want to know if I can use one of this. So let's give it a shot right away. Let's turn it on. I will leave all these items underneath the video. So if you guys are interested to buy any of this. And as we see, it works perfect. Okay, no problem. Once again, let's just check the browser. I love the browser, browser. Okay. Let's check the browser and works perfect, no problem. Press enter, no letter Q. So this one works real good. So we put that to the side. 
and my next one this is a nice keyboard too let's see if this one gives it any any problem but this one should work perfect okay so let's run this one let's see let's connect it and you see no problem so we get two keyboards working perfect take this one out my next one real nice one what color we have this one this one i think is the green one because i need to put a color to each one because it's too many this one is nice because this one is like air mouse okay that's not so this is kind of one we have out here on the table but if you got one of this and you want to know this one as you see works perfect we can type with no problems it's nice as we see here keyboard one side air mouse or we can shut their mouse off and then we can travel with the size okay and the final one we're gonna try blue tubes here. This is the mystery in a lot of these boxes. So let me put, actually, let me get to the regular keyboard once again. Mouse is much easier to travel with it if I have to do some tests. Okay, so to turn the Bluetooth on, we need to go into configuration. Let's go Bluetooth, okay. And as you see, I would have got paired something else there, my other keyboard. Let's turn it on. Let's do a search. Okay. And here. 3.0. We pair. Okay. And it's connected. But like anything else, and it seems it's a big problem with the keyboard. I mean, this is not the only box. I have already two boxes with the same problem. Um, even I tried with my uh, an Apple um, wireless keyboard, and I got the same result. Can figure out why it will not work. And then search online, a lot of people have the same problem. So even though it has a Bluetooth, and do not recommend buying a Bluetooth keyboard because you got a chance like this one, it will not work. If you guys want to use a regular keyboard, I will say that will be the call. Okay. So let's say the only problem right now I'm having is a Bluetooth pair. It did pair, as you see, it's connected, but it's not respond okay all right so next one this is a nice controller usb let's turn it on okay okay so we got the game controller we're gonna pen now okay it's connected so let's give it a shot we can actually use this to travel as as you see on the screen and let's test and let's do a test and as you see here it's working perfect okay so if you guys want to okay yes if you want if you guys want to get the USB uh, I mean a Bluetooth game controller works perfect no problem so the box takes any should be okay to use any uh, USB controller the next one is uh, actually a USB game controller this one pretty much easy one we plug it in and detect it and as we see here no problem okay eh? it's worked perfect we can exit the screen and we can also navigate and we can navigate with the controller so now we know that all keyboards and game controller the box take it with no problem a question will be how about a hard drive okay so let's put it here let's put it right there we no longer need this we're going to hook up a four terabyte drive so let's put this and let's connect the four terabyte drive into the box and if you see no problem i'll make sure oh yeah i lost my um Let's use this later on. I want to try, I want to make it faster with my uh, own. Uh... Okay. So if you see here, we can set that uh, internal storage. We're not going to do that. We're going to only browse. Okay. And see it's uh, 
mp3s let's say we can play uh, some of the files okay can we play some movies let's see some uh, let me go to another directory okay right there let's use some of the movie player this is from the actually high drive and if you see it's playing it with no problem okay so it's pretty good let's check actually let's exit all the way to the main screen and let's see storage and devices and as you see here 3.6 terabytes so no problem to the file to run all your movies it detected with no problem at least up to four terabytes okay guess you can put even bigger format a format in ntfs okay in a windows machine and they detect all the files with no problem just play a movie we got a bunch of mp3s we'll play with no problem and also we can see here the symbol from the bluetooth right we are connected Wi Fi and here because we already we connect the four terabyte drive. Next thing is this. Let's plug this out. Let's take let me take my uh high drive out. Let's plug this. That came with the box. If you saw my open box, okay, I show you all this detailing, but I'm gonna go a little over and this is an air mouse, so we're gonna activate and as you see here, this is part of the box. It's real nice. Okay, so you can go. Let's say uh, let's click movies. Let's go back. This is the back key right there. Okay, it works perfect. We can let me shut this off off, and we can navigate using the keys. Okay, they kind of nice. I like it. Navigate with the keys. Okay, let's look into the apps okay and applications now let me try something i want to guys show you uh let me see how we recognize this as a game controller it's the only thing i could now figure out to make it because the idea of this is here we got a symbol game controller so we turn over and now we can use this as a key okay i could not find any game that will work i'm not sure what type of game uh, a lot of bunch of games it will not recognize it it's supposed to be like in game controller okay and let's see here if I turn this into the side okay let me okay okay yeah X you see uh, a you guys pay attention to uh, check it over here okay see a B X okay white and we got this here yes it is not an analog uh, key no, no, no it's not a stick here but they recognize it as a type of the controller okay now once again we don't got the l1 or the r2 r1 but it's supposed to be for the simple games i could not get it to work and then we turn it over again we shut this off so it came with one game but the game seems not the even i mean this game if you use it as a mass mode it will work and let's try this so in this case this one will work as a mouse you guys pay attention see my hand and pay attention right there so we're gonna click on it below the game so any game that will work this way it will work fine so let's see if it starts and if you see here okay Depends where you point. Okay. Uh, I'm sucking this game. Actually, I never played this game before. I think only a few times for the purpose of test this. Okay. But as you see, for this type of game, no problem to use the controller. It's a nice controller. I mean, this is a real nice controller. I mean, it comes with the box because it's air mouse. We get the home button. Okay, right away we went to home. And the nice thing too, it has a mic. So let's try the mic. Let's see how the mic works. 
So we need to go home, okay? But we need to press here and then we need to use it. So let me let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. So I like to draw that way. Gonna press that over there. Media box ENT. And as you see, it find it with no problem. Okay, guys, you see, when we talk, it works pretty good. But you need actually, let's go back home. All right, you need to be in actually that screen. It's not like you're going to be talking in the mic and it's going to work. You have to actually execute first the application and then we can do it. And actually, see, it did listen without even pressing any button. It goes again. Gonna go right there. Video box ENT. Okay, I was all right. Went too fast. So you don't need to press anything. Now let's go back again and let's see if I press the mic. Media box ENT. Oh, you need to be in an actually the application to work, but it's kind of nice. So if you want to search something, just right over there. Media box ENT. All right, so now we're going to move into the screen sharing, a screen mirror, mirror cast. This is very important. I'm running KitKat 4.4. What I'm saying, I'm running KitKat 4.4 because actually, if you pull down the menu, you see screen sharing. When, if you have an Android 6.0, there is no longer mirror cast. Okay, with well, screen sharing, it's uh, Chromecast. And Chromecast works in a different way. In that case, you need to download an application or you need to root your phone. To be able to do a screen sharing on the Android 6.0, okay, because uh, uh, Google only cares about Chrome, uh, Chromecast, and not a screen mirror or mirror cast. That's right, very important. So we activated it. As you see there, I still have on uh, my phone. That's what I keep it. This phone because it's good for that. We activate it. We try and switch the screens. We turn it on there. I scan in my phone. So activate it. And this thing works well. If you see right away, it's going to show up. No problem. Make sure you just got the right phone or make sure you got the right application. It's not the box. It's always your phone. The problem, in this case, the box works beautiful. If you see, no problem. So now we're going to move into benchmark. Okay, so we're going to do some good tests on benchmarking. Okay, let's run some tests. Let's check the CPU information. And then we're running uh, Cortex A53. We can see uh, all the CPUs running, okay, full speed, okay, the mail 450. We can change the internal temperature, about 48 Celsius. My next one is to check if the buck is rooted by default. And yes, I will see better find now. Yeah, congratulations, your box is rooted. So this box by manufacturer is already rooted. My next one is the DR info. This will let me know if we can play Netflix at 1080. I will say no. As we see here, the CC label is unprotected. This is all the boxes from China. Okay, so if you have Netflix, you're not going to be able to run at 1080 or high definition. That's normal. Okay, in any box. If you guys want to learn more about it, I will leave you a link right now. It will be in the description why these boxes you're not going to be able to see any. 1080 Netflix. There's actually a few boxes are that way. And actually, NBA Shield is one of the definitely guarantee you get 1080 across the board HD resolution. Okay. My next one, let's check the speed. We are connected Wi Fi. Let's begin the test. Nice. Nice. Pretty fast. My connection is 100. Megabit, so it's fine. I should get 35. It is my network, but it, it should reach, it will reach to 35. Guarantee because I did that test before. It's just my network's not working right. It's perfect. Nice, nice. Let's connect it now with the hardwire. Okay, so a hardwire now. So let's check it. I should get 100. I should get about 100. I would say, yeah, 92, 93. Perfect. Okay, and let's see if we get 35 now. It's just my network and upload, they're having problems. Oh, yeah, okay.
But Y5, it will reach 35 too. It's just my network's not working right. Perfect. Let's check the results. Okay. And let's look the one just there now. As you see here, previous result, I did have uh, 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 connected Y5, I did hit 36. Okay. It's just my network is, uh, is having a lot of problems. But we see here on um, connected uh, hardwire, we got 80. 83, 38, and what we have here, what, 54. So it works pretty good, and the pin look 10, 10. So it works beautiful, no problems at all. So in this test, we're gonna test every resolution as possible on the device. This is a pretty long video, so what I'm doing, I'm gonna only put little parts, so we're gonna make this too long. All right, so let's begin the test. And as you will see in the top, every time it tests a new resolution, it sees there, It will give me the result. You see it right over there. Okay. And now we're testing some 2K and 4K video. So I'm going to leave it now for now. And now we are into 4K. All right, so we got the whole test. These are pretty long videos, about three, four minutes, so I cut it down in a few pieces. So we see here all the compatible, okay, no problem. And I guess I care more. Uh, 4K, 2K, perfect. They're pretty nice and smooth. Okay, it's a good test. Now let's see the ones uh, with issue. And this all the buses has the same issue. So if you run in this type of audio coding and this type of compression, okay, it will give you a smooth as you saw in the end. But you have to run a special this type of combinations and not support it zero. It does support everything. Just these three ones. I don't see is a common uh, uh, resolution we always choose, so that compression. The rate was perfect, no problem. I give a ranking at 943, we can look. So let's look all the devices. This we can see if we are comparing to a phone. We are right over here at 943. Okay, so right across the board. Let's look. TV boxes, 943. So we are over here. Okay. So compared with other boxes this is uh in be shield tv okay that's a good test nice thing on this box it, when you start the box for the first time you got like a preset configuration as you see they ask you the language it's going to ask you the time zone then the size of the screen as you see now and then the next question the next question is going to be the actually your connection so real fast you are connected, simple, anyone can do it. And this is really nice. the first box I see. They have this type of configuration. So you don't need to travel around the box. At least for the basic ones, can be done in one, two, three out of the box with no problem. Real nice. Okay, so we are in the software section now. So let's look at the launcher. This is your main screen. So when you finish boot up, that's what you see the first time. We got the home, applications, and here we got when you connect the USB will light up. If you connect the hot wire, this will turn on. Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is on. So it's kind of cool. You can see what's going on. Here we're gonna go into the configuration. Okay, so this is the normal config. And here I allow you to change launchers. Okay, so as you see here, you got a new launcher, a new way. All right, and now to get back to the old one. And the way to do it, I just go here and I went back to the old one. Remember the task bar. One, you hide the task bar, like now. The only, the only way to get it back, whether you use a mouse like me, but I'm so used to do this for so many boxes. I know how the trick works. If not, you would actually have to an application or reset your box if you want this back. Okay. So configuration, change launchers. 
and application here is your Kodi Google Play works perfect no problem it loads pretty fast here's your task killer okay works pretty good here is any application you want to add this is your favorites you should click here and you can add any application you want like any other box movies this is all favors more favors here is a streaming section that we saw that before photos favors internet connection we saw the browser working with no problem when I test all the hardware socials social you need to add the icons and this box went to an upgrade or update this is for a box that actually has an update on it I never see a box that is self update and I think after that it changed I didn't remember see this icon here maybe it was called uh, the, the word Kodi and then they changed it to this games as you saw in the demo we got the games files no more files now let's go into applications and the application we have I'm gonna go over the application comes with the box the ones I'm not gonna name it on it means I install it for the purpose of the test so we get the AirJoy AirJoy is you can go to AirJoy.com and let me show you a second let me look this up and that's what is AirJoy okay here it says it's free but if you want to do more things you will have to pay uh, there's a way to you know use a multiple screen so uh, from the web browser uh, let me see if it got some uh, screens to show you what it look like see premium you will have to pay see 30 bucks and you can try for files and all that you know uh, you can use twin, to, uh, twin viewer it's free exactly the same thing this one allow you to control many forms you can have your friends on it so it's kind of nice if you're really looking into this automatic clear so let's see if I um, let's try it the advertisement okay see so now we can actually browse but mostly if you want to see the applications so we can see all the applications I think can we uninstall yeah that's kind of nice so you can just easy to uninstall any any application right out of the box it's kind of nice real fast so any application you want you can screenshot show camera there is no camera no rain I mean we know that already but you can put pictures you can copy files and you can check the video if you did that so as you see real nice you can uninstall applications and if you want to do some more things and you, you need to pay for the service okay and what else yes you show you my total memory what I'm using okay I can copy URL, open applications, and uninstall any application you don't want. So, guys, this is pretty good. Even uh, if you want to install this in your phone or in your um, box, it works pretty cool. All right, so let's move on. Okay, okay, you uninstall it. Oh, okay, and so you have to go to the box and say you want to uninstall it. So, let's move out of there. Okay, so we got the application installed. I can do the box of the browser. It comes with Chrome. All right, again here, file the browser, then the game, uh, the gallery, Gmail, Google, the Happy Cast, Media, Media Center, uh, Mirror Cast. We tried all this already. The two players, Netflix, play the game, the Play Store, PP. Nobody uses that. I should uninstall that. Uh, this is for the screen if you want to switch back let me switch back to that okay to read the lock settings Skype we're gonna test the Skype in a minute so you guys will show you that and you can update like any other box you can run the update this box self updated so you don't have to and the voice search and YouTube okay so that works pretty good I want to execute two files actually just to show you all right, first Cody, Cody 17, no problem. I think actually it comes with 16.1, uh, but then when I went to the Google Store, it wants me to up to update. When I update, it automatically installs 17, okay? But it's working fine, okay? It comes with any errands, yes. That's all the errands with the box normally, okay? Remember what I'm saying, the 16.1, but then when I went to Google Play, uh, I went to execute the update and then automatic update and down to bring it up to uh, 17. Okay, so no more apps like in other box. Okay, 
All right. That works fine, no problem. I don't need to be executing any uh, uh, errands. So let's move up to there. And let's see here. Okay, now. Do you want to know if this will play 1080? It does play 1080. Uh, this way, let me go. Some of my um, videos are uh, 1080. So if I click here, and let me check yes 720 see i can bring it to all 1080 and I switch to 1080 with no problem okay guys so it works with 1080 and we can see here the resolution again we are in 1080 okay so what's good we can quick that and what else we got i think the software is everything uh, works pretty good, no problem fast. It has what you need. What I'm going to show you, and first I want to test is Skype, but then after that I'm going to show you the website because it's pretty interesting. I like the website. They don't have like a super customer support because I noticed in the forms uh, people type in a lot of messages or leave messages, but I don't see the company reply. But at least it's a form where people can share these ideas. And it's good because you can upgrade your uh, firmware. They keep it up to date. So I was surprised uh, on the website because a lot of these Chinese boxes didn't have any tech support. It's hard to find a company who make it. So this is uh, the real one in a clone box. So it's, it's nice on that way. So let's check that for a minute. And then we're going to test Skype. You guys are sure want to see how Skype works. Okay, so you're not spending too much on this site. We got a nice app, Provo, see Provo, uh, Provo2.com. So if you go support, we can see how to uh, upgrade your uh, firmware. It's nice, it give you all the instructions how to do it, give you a nice support. And then if we go into uh, your launcher, let show you the launcher, it talks about how to do it and how to make changes. So it's, it's nice, that's what I said, it's, they had a real nice support. If we look my box, it to air, as you see here, see release day February 17. I guess that's when I was playing with my box and did a new update. Okay, so and if it, if not, if they didn't do the self update, it show you how to manually uh, push the upgrade. Okay, and then the last they got the form, and again I was reading some, scanning some of this, and then I see these guys actually uh, replying the message. But at least people talk about, and that, that kind of good because you can ex exchange ideas. So I have to give at least, at least I gotta give a ten point to these guys because the website is nice, organized. It seems to be, you know, a kind of a, um, customer support. They keep upgrading or they keep trying to do a real nice box. So it's, it's nice if you have any problem. At least you have, you, you know where to get it with any update. You know where to go. All right, guys, what do you think? Beautiful video, right? was nice this time now you saw this video and now you know everything about this box so you know why not a chance to become part of media box cnt in case you didn't subscribe yet so subscribe to the channel media box cnt leave a comment thumbs up and i'll see you next time once again this was dario with another super video bye